Curiosity has driven human exploration to the highest mountains, coldest continents and even the edge of our solar system. But one of the most unexplored areas which hosts the largest and most diverse ecosystem is much closer to home, our oceans. I'm Matt. And I'm Adam. Let's, Let's do, do some, some physics. physics. By extrapolating the rate of discovery of new animal species, scientists predict that there are at least one million animal and plant species in the ocean. And amazingly, only a third of them have been discovered, mostly from shallow waters. Scientists try to determine what conditions different animals prefer. And more importantly, what effect our activity in the ocean has on local ecosystems. How do they do this? Listening. Before we get into the details, let's review the fundamental concepts at work. Sound travels through water like it does through air, but about five times faster. This is because sound is really a pressure wave which propagates through the medium by compressing the particles. Air has a lower stiffness factor than water, allowing sound to travel faster through water. But what does sound tell us that lets us know what's lurking in our oceans? Well, all sound waves are made up of two main features that define their characteristics. Firstly, we have the amplitude of the wave, equivalent to loudness. Secondly, the frequency of the wave, how many times the wave oscillates per second, which sets the tone of the sound. Each sound that you can hear is made up of a number of frequencies, normally one main frequency, accompanied by harmonics of the frequency, which are multiples of that frequency in octave steps away from the original frequency. This complex combination of harmonic frequencies is how we can distinguish the sound of a violin from the same tone in a trumpet. We can also assume that each animal call, ship horn, and cracking ice has a unique fingerprint of frequencies that we can identify it by. The process that identifies frequencies from a sound signal is called a Fourier transform. This ingenious mathematical process allows us to see the spectrum of frequencies. Researchers use various measures of spectral analysis to identify what animal life there is and when it is there. From this information we can perform long-term studies to determine the makeup of local ecosystems and the effect humans have on the environment. Since 1960, shipping activity has at least doubled, with deep ocean ambient noise rising by at least 12 decibels off the coast of California. Oceanography and underwater acoustics are highly important fields, as through spectral analysis and various other studies, we can ensure the conservation and preservation of life within our oceans, whilst maintaining the offshore infrastructure which we are so dependent on for energy and transportation. The analysis of the ocean sound is also used for mapping out the shape of the ocean floor, studying tsunamis and 3D imaging of toxic waste. So next time you go for a swim in the sea, have a think about all the unexplored wonders you might be listening to, or even being heard by.